Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install LibreELEC on a micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi. LibreELEC is an operating system that runs Kodi. So, to get started, you're going to need a micro SD card and a micro SD card reader. Some computers have micro SD card readers built in. If yours does, that's great. If not, I recommend heading over to Amazon and taking a look at the Anchor USB 3.0 card reader, as you can see here. This is the one I have. It runs very, very well. If you do not have a micro SD card, I also recommend heading to Amazon and taking a look at the SanDisk Extreme 32GB micro SDHC. It is a UHS-1 card with a U-speed of 3. It is extremely fast and works extremely well in the Raspberry Pi. Just a reminder as well, this is Amazon Canada. If you are in the States or if you are overseas, these prices will differ. So once you have a way to plug the micro SD card into your computer, I recommend heading over to https libreelect.tv slash downloads. I'm going to keep a link to the, all of these sites in the description below this video. So once you're on the download page, you're going to want to download the libreelect USB SD creator. In order to do this, you have to select the operating system that you're currently using. In my case, it's Windows. So I'll click download for Windows. As you can see here, it is 6.3 megabytes, not very big. So I'll open it up, authorize it. And you can see here, it automatically populates with the Pi 2 and 3. If you're using anything else, feel free if you have a Pi 0 or Pi 1 but I really recommend just leaving it on Pi 2 and 3 if you have a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. The next step here is to select the version of LibreELEC. LibreELEC versions do not match Kodi versions. So for example, this is 8.0.1, which is Kodi version 17. If you, for some reason, need an older version of Kodi, if you have an app that runs in Kodi that doesn't work on the new version of Kodi or anything like that, those are usually special circumstances most people can get by with just the most latest version of Kodi. If you have a special circumstance and you need a earlier version of Kodi, you click the show all button right here and you select an older version. For example, here 7.0.3, this is Kodi version 16. The next thing you're going to want to do is download the file. This does not take very long at all. It's roughly 100 megabytes, give or take. All right, now this is a part that I want you to pay attention to. This is select your USB stick or SD card. Make sure and double check that you're selecting the right drive. If you have a portable hard drive attached to your computer through USB, it might automatically select here. So just be very careful, verify in your computer that you have the right drive selected. So right here, I just put in an old SD card that I had laying around. You can see 7.5 gigabytes and let's use it. So that's the one I want to use. I'm going to click right. Select a device in the D drive. Are you sure you want to write the image? Your USB SD device will be wiped and I'm a okay with this. All right. As you can see, it's almost done. It has just completed. Once this is done, feel free to safely remove hardware, take the micro SD card out, put it in your Raspberry Pi, and you can boot your Raspberry Pi up. It will give you a fresh install of LibreELEC and Kodi on your Raspberry Pi. That's all I've got for today. Thank you, everyone. Take care. 